Today's episode is brought to you by NordVPN. Head on over to NordVPN.com slash rogue. Get 70% off a three-year subscription plus a month free, and you'll be keeping us in business. Nord is a VPN, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? What? We're just hands. Why are we hands? We do a hand channel now. It's easier. Production it takes less time. It'll be great. But your hand is all gross and scarred. Okay, yes, and uh, we have a very special guest who's also just a pair of hands. <gasps> the lock picking. <laughs> your fake beard fell off. You suck. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited. We're back again with the lockpicking lawyer. Hey there, folks. Oh, he's gonna show us some more wizardry. I've got some crazy stuff out here. Yeah, so we're gonna learn how to duplicate a key. Now, previously, we learned how to 3D print one by taking a photograph of it, but this seems a lot more low tech. Yeah, you don't need a 3D printer or to know any sort of CAD, right? Cadmium. <laughs> no, no. There no. is a little All bit right. of that here. We'll talk about that. First, you need to prepare your key impressioning device. And we have a couple different options here. This is a commercially made one, and you need to fill it up with some sort of soft substance that you can impression a key into. Or, if you don't want to actually buy one, this is a 3D printed one. So maybe you do need a 3D printer for this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so, oh, so too soon. In this case, it looks like we're using Sculpey. I assume like even modeling clay would work for this kind of thing? I think so, I think so. Sculpey works really, really well. All we need to do is, why don't you fill up one side of that. You got it. Make sure it's all in the nooks and crannies. We actually forgot an important step. That doesn't sound like our it's, show it's at an, all. It's an optional step. Oh, but I usually for like easy to put removal. Release agent. Yeah, okay, there. all right, all right. That's a good idea. Oh, so it's like Pam that you spray in your... It's exactly what it's like. <laughs> It's criminal Pam. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put that in there. We're in good shape now. Got now it. you can put the Sculpey in there right. and be generous with it. In fact, fill it a little bit past the top. I okay. Want, I want some extra in there. So when we squeeze it, it should be coming out the side like a peanut butter sandwich. Well, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're definitely gonna need more on the other side there. Now, this okay. is like a Play-Doh mold, like when you're a kid and you just mash it together and oh look, it's Luke Skywalker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's exactly <laughs> like that. Shut up. No, you're right though. <laughs> this is a trick taught me by Deviant Olam, who actually taught me a lot of this key casting stuff. For the uninitiated, who is Deviant? A penetration tester, a speaker at a lot of conferences. He a shows, legend in his own time. He's the kind of person that you don't want to be trying to get into your building because he probably will get in. So, he taught me a lot of these key casting techniques, but what I'm doing is just using a small rod here and we're going to just get the excess off. But what it also does is gives us a little bit of extra Sculpey at the top here, uh -huh. and we're gonna use that to create a little bit of a funnel at the very end. Got it, got it. So uh, we have something to hold on to while we're using this key. I assume at some point we're gonna be pouring molten liquid metal in there, right? That's exactly what we're going to do. Okay. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this extra up here. Now here, again, it's an optional step, but if you're going to prepare and you want this to go smoothly, I recommend using a little bit of baby powder. Okay, so the first one, the criminal Pam that we used is so that the Sculpey comes out easily. This is so that the key comes out easily. The key comes out easily and so the two Sculpey sides don't stick to each other when we close this up. Got it. Because that's gonna be a problem if it happens. I just realized we're doing this indoors at the warehouse. I would think that some kind of smelting or forge type of thing would not be good for an indoor activity. Okay, a word about the metal we're using. So this is wood's metal. Metal. It's an alloy that melts at a very low temperature. It has a little bit of cadmium in it, which if we heat it up too much, can create hazardous fumes. There's another option. It's far more expensive called Fields Metal. It does not create any hazardous fumes. However, most of the time when you buy Fields Metal online, they send you Woods Metal anyway. It's an issue. So I generally use this and don't heat it up enough to create any hazardous fumes. So how hot do we need to get it? Do we like microwave it? Do we put it in the oven? No, we're just gonna use a lighter degrees. and this little ladle. Oh. Let's assume that we need to get an impression of this key. We can leave it on the keychain. it okay. doesn't matter. Oh really? First, let's make sure this is totally ready. Gotta squeeze it out and I think we're ready to go now. So you can keep this in your pocket until you are ready to capture this key. And okay. you get access to this key for just a couple of moments. We put it into the mold. And it might be something like, I need to borrow the keys for a post office box, but what you really want is the main office door key or something. Yep. Or let's say you're a valet with ill intent and you just swipe the keys and do that. So yeah, be careful with your keys. <laughs> yep. Use a key sheet. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so we put it in there. I'm going to 
push that down as much as I can. And at the same time, I'm gonna create a little funnel around the bow of the key here. So we can fill that up with the excess metal. I just realized that like, if you pick up your car from the valet, there's evidence that could be on it. I guess keep an eye out for those kind of suspicious there things. could be, but if you did your job right, there won't be. So here we have everything we need to create one of those keys. So I'm gonna keep this closed. Oh, I would have thought that would have ruined all of the work you just did. Oh, closing it up? Yeah. Nope. Uh, wait, uh, uh, Do you wanna see it again? Yeah, 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 yeah. That does not look like it's precise enough. Yeah. I would not, huh. Okay, now that we have this impression made, we're gonna close it up. We don't need to open it again until we have a key inside. I'm gonna put this little clamp here, mostly to just hold it upright. Okay. Everything about this seems too easy. It's super low tech. Now, these little cubes of metal are the perfect amount to create one key. I created them using this. It's nothing but a silicon ice cube tray. So you got your Woods metal, heated it up. Nice big ingot. Yeah. I heated it up in a metal ladle, poured it into here, and then I had a bunch of little cubes ready for that's casting brilliant. keys. Each one is a key in the this making. This is another trick from Deviant Ola. No, that's great. We're going to melt this metal. Now to make sure we don't get this too hot, what I'm gonna do is heat up the ladle and all the heat that's in the ladle is actually what's gonna melt that. Well, what does too hot look like? When fumes start coming off. Ooh, yeah. All right, here, you, you just want, here, I can play stove for you. Okay. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh oh! <laughs> Welcome to the modern room. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh no! I swear to God, our show is cursed. Okay, let's heat that up just a little bit. So what we want is for this to be a heat reservoir, so the wood's metal immediately starts absorbing and very quickly heats up and doesn't get to the full two thousand degrees that this hydrocarbon is running at. I think we're probably there. Holy cow! Wait. We need to pour this in. This is so easy. This is like, you could do this on premises. Okay, now we need to give this about five minutes to cool down. If we take it out too early, it's gonna be really weak. It's going to break. So give it the time to solidify. Is there anything special about this? This is sold for people casting bullets. What, what, what? Mm, like, yeah. like in the movie The Patriot? Most frequently used when you have to fight a werewolf and you melt down your aunt's jewelry into silver slugs. That happens. <laughs> what are our biggest concerns? Like what's left for us to mess up at this point? Well, we don't want to break it yep. because it's not the strongest key in the world, but it should be strong enough for us to use. So we, we never break fake oh keys. Oh my God, open. look at how precise that is. It looks pretty good. Looks like we got a good cast on this. So we'll take wow. this out. That looks like an actual key. Now, you can see we had a little pocket in there where we didn't get the metal in, but that shouldn't affect anything here. I see a couple of imperfections at the tip that yep. might create an issue. Yep. But let's give it a shot, see Wait. what happens. Jason, do you want to do the honors? I fear, because this seems to be pretty brittle stuff, that just over twisting it, like then you're it really can in trouble. create issues. You do need to be a little bit careful with these. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can do it. In there. Yes! <laughs> Holy hell, that is amazing. At this point, would you just keep this key or would you use this key as a positive to cast more keys? Well, you wouldn't cast one, but you certainly could cut a new key on a regular key blank or you could measure this and decode it so you can cut one later. There's a lot of things you can do with this now that you have it that don't involve just using it. So I know there are different numbers for the different pin positions. What is the difference between them? It looks like maybe a millimeter? Roughly 24 thousandths of an inch on these types of locks on okay. quick sets. Would you keep your mold here if you wanted more copies? Would that be worthwhile or? You could, it's never gonna be as good as the first one. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, well, most importantly, oh my God, I can't believe it. If people wanna follow all of your adventures, they should go to what, Lock Picking Lawyer on YouTube? Absolutely, youtube.com slash lockpicking lawyer. I have 950 videos and they all show really cool stuff just like this. That is awesome. 
Is it good that I'm constantly becoming more terrified? Every day, he who increases his knowledge increases his suffering. What have you been reading? I'm now worried about becoming my grandpa. The idea of being increasingly siloed, trapped in my own bubble, yeah. being force fed a bunch of stuff that's custom curated to reinforce things I already think or whatever. That's why I love NordVPN. I get to pretend like I'm from Iceland or from China or, or from the Philippines or whatever. I know how you love pretending you're from the Philippines. <laughs> I love visiting all my usual websites, but having them think I am an international citizen. I love uh, browsing and having no one have any idea what I'm doing. I love non-targeted ads. I, lo I love them not knowing that they can follow me around all over the place. Oh. It's like, hello, I am generic world citizen number 275559. And they've got unlimited bandwidth, double encryption, live 24 seven customer service. It is the only VPN to get a perfect score by PC Magazine. And it is fast, 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 so fast, 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 and super affordable. A few bucks a month, you're gonna be handled forever. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash rogue and get handled forever. Yeah, that's right, get 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 your handle on. Also spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. Not, it's not rouge, it's rogue. 70% off, a three year plan, and a month for free. You're welcome. Okay, I, I have a trick with whenever you are done playing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we just, are we done just got school. Oh, he sounded so Oklahoman By too. The way, Whenever y'all are done playing. Every, everyone over okay. here is totally wishing you fail at this point, <laughs> despite the consequences for this video.